prepare to be transported to a time and star of life long vanished. Descend the graciously distinctive staircase from your luxurious room of this former manor house, reinvented as an upscale B&B in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Enjoy your stay. Time is suspended in this thoroughly restored and updated residence among the lush gardens and beckoning idyllic escapes comprising the grounds of the former estate of C.V. Collinsworth, the controversial late 19th century owner of one of the largest import-export companies of that era, rumored to periodically traffic in stealthily secured illicit artifacts and possibly opium from the Far East. His wife, Isadora Holborn, of the Philadelphia mainline Holborns, occasionally prevailed upon him to part with some of the most precious pieces, gracing several of the many rooms of the manor's first floor. Cornelius is junior by some thirty years. Her shrewd mind and quick wit made her a good match with his savvy aggressiveness in the business world. To complement her extensive gardens fanning out behind the manor, she insisted each room be drenched in vibrant colors, a veritable rainbow of bold hues. As you proceed down the stairs to the main floor, pass through the doorway to the left, and step into a bath of sensual delight. Flowers, fresh cut, and a floral motif meet your every glance, enveloping you in a sumptuous suspension of time. Drifting lazily in a trance, pass through a portal of sunlight, reflecting off the highly polished surfaces, a visual echo. Some respite is offered by the less saturated atmosphere of these adjacent rooms, preparing you for the transition to the timber-beamed day porch. Cool and inviting, doors beckoning near and far, the floral seduction of the previous rooms dissipates as if emerging from a dream. Step through the door to the left and enter the veranda, a uniquely exotic environment of competing light and shadow, a temperate world, tempting you to explore. But it's time to visit yet another reality, the couple's private quarters. These airy, elegant, light-filled rooms are distinguished by their more formal, high-ceiling refinement. Subtle accents of color replace the boldness of the main floor, a concession the woman of the house had to make to husband Cornelius, who claimed he was, quote, suffocated by flora, end quote, in the lower rooms. On this floor, there is a place apart, a very special place, Mr. C.'s virtually private abode, for Isadora entered this den of hunting trophies and various artifacts epitomizing male virility with some degree of trepidation, not to mention her dislike of the lingering trace of cigar smoke. Adjacent to the main house is the repurposed carriage house and stables converted into a spacious and stunning conference room, rented out periodically to area corporations as a place of retreat. A highlight of the facility is its highly unusual, large, circular, frosted skylight, suffusing the room with a rich glow of understated opulence. You've now completed your tour of the Collinsworth Estate. I do hope you've enjoyed this venture into another time, another life. P.S. Cornelius, although long under suspicion, never saw the inside of the county courthouse, other than to transact business of an unspecified nature. <laughs>